Welcome back to uh, TechnoChubby.com. I am the Joe, and today we are going to upgrade my MacBook Pro from the 320 that it had to this wonderful Hitachi 500 gigabyte hard drive. Just to show you, the uh, drive itself is just a hair thicker than the old drive. So uh, I wonder if you can see that there. See, it sits right above. Anyways, um, I have my Torx T6 screwdriver, my Phillips mini screwdriver, and I have a flat just for anything that needs spudging. Um, so, we are going to begin. First, remove the battery, of course. Inside the battery compartment, there will be four screws one, two, three and four that we are going to remove with the Phillips screwdriver. Once those four screws removed we're going to lift up the uh, memory shield and set it aside. The next set of screws to remove are two T6 screws that are inside the memory shield compartment area. The next set of screws that we're going to remove are three Phillips screws that are inside the battery compartment. Not sure if you can see those in there. They're kind of at an angle. Now we will remove four screws on the case itself. Once those four screws are removed, go to one side and you will remove one, two, three, and four screws from the side of your Mac. Once that's done, you go to the back, and there are one and two screws in the back of your Mac. Next, you go to the other side, and again, there will be one, two, three, and four screws that need to be removed. Once all the screws are removed, you're going to open the Mac up, and slowly, from the back, work your way forward to loosen the top. Be very careful, there is a ribbon cable inside that is attached to the motherboard, as you can see here, and very carefully lift the tape up, and gently remove it from its plug. The plug there is very tiny. Set the keyboard unit aside, just so you can see. There's the keyboard unit. If you want a close-up of the plug, that's it there. For a quick tour inside, here's your main board, motherboard. These are your cooling fans, four speakers, your light sensors, um, your airport card, the existing hard drive, and your super drive. That's about it. We are going to concentrate in the hard drive area. There are two T6 screws here that will be needing removal. This cable here is taped a little bit to the drive itself. You're going to want to lift that up. Um, I haven't had to remove this cable, although some places say that you should do that. Um, so, first off, we are going to remove the two T6 screws. And then once the screws are removed, you're going to gently lift and remove the bracket. And set that aside. Now the drive is free. This tape here actually attaches all the way around the drive so what you're going to want to do is loosen that tape up and you're going to pick the drive up out of its sides. These two rubber bushings here hold the drive and are attached to the drive itself. There's two rubber bushings here where the screws snap in and out of the bushings. So you're going to lift the drive gently on its side and slowly 
and carefully remove the drive. Now remove the tape from the bottom and pull the drive out of its connector. Now we're going to remove the two rubber screws and the two metal screws and we're going to put them on the new drive. Okay, here is the new drive with the two rubber bushings on the correct side and the two screws on the correct side. Those are T6 screws and we're going to put it back in. As you can see, once it's inside there, it is a much higher drive. It does look like it has plenty of room for it though and uh, it's not coming over the top so I think it'll be fine. Alrighty, now put everything back in, in the order, in the reverse order. Make sure that you carefully attach the uh, cable back to the, from the keyboard to the uh, location here on the motherboard.